am now going to show you how to configure NAT, static NAT, or how it's also called uh, NAT one to one. The network topology associated to this with this lab is actually shown on the block page, so you need to refer to the block page itself uh, to find the network diagram. Now, before I actually start configuring the NAT object, what I'm going to do is start a continuous ping from my server, which you can see is configured with the 10.0.0.11 IP address. And as I said, I'm going to start a continuous ping to 99.99.99.97 IP address. And as you can see, the ping is not going to work. So the ICMP packet is not going to flow. Furthermore, I'm also going to go on my Vajata OS router, which is where the destination IP address of 99.99.99.97 is actually configured. You can see here that the IP address is set up on interface ETH2. And what I'm going to do is monitor traffic coming in and out of this interface. I'm also going to match on the IP address that I'm going to be translating to. And again, if we give it a few seconds, you can also see that there is no traffic showing up. Now, the next step is to configure the actual NAT object. To do so, this is my GUI of my F5. So you go to um, local traffic, address translation, and here you can either click the plus button or you click on the actual NAT list link, which takes you to the screen where all your NAT objects will be listed. And here you can create um, a new NAT object by just clicking on the create button. Now the name of my NAT object is going to conveniently match the purpose of the actual NAT object itself. So this is a DNAT, so I'm going, we are going to do a destination network address translation. And we are going to be translating from my internal host that sits on 10.0.0.11 to the external IP address, which is 172.16.10.11. I'm going to now set up the actual IP address. So the NAT address is the address that we are going to translate to. So in this case, it's 172.16.10.11. And my origin address is the, the IP address that I will be translating from. In this case, 10.0.0.11. We want this to be enabled. We are going to use the default configuration, which is uh, the NAT object will be listening on all VLAN interfaces configured on the on the box on the F5 appliance and I'm going to click finished once we do so if we now go back to our server you can see that my um, ICMP traffic started flowing right away if we now go also to the Viata OS router Again, you are, uh, we are now able to see the ICMP traffic coming in from 172.16.10.11 IP address, as well as the return traffic going to 172.16.10.11 IP address. Now, what I'm going to do next is to show you something I think quite interesting that you might not be aware of at first. So if I go to my NAT object and I now disable the translation, the, the actual object, so 
we can now see that the object is disabled. If we go back to, to the server, we can see that the ICMP packets are still flowing successfully. Now this is because on the F5, while we had the object enabled, a NAT session was created, the NAT entry was created in what is called a NAT table. And that entry is still there because the, the traffic still flows and therefore that session did not expire. In order for us to actually um, drop connectivity, following up disabling the actual NAT object, what we need to do is actually um, delete the sessions that were created um, initially. So if we do here show sys connections, um, we can list all, but let's just do protocol ICMP. You can see here the, that my entry is still there in, relate, in, 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 in relation to the 172.16.10.11 IP address. If we now delete this session, and I'm just going to delete all the ICMP sessions, and now go back to our server, you can see that now the ICMP traffic is not flowing any longer. Another thing that I want to show you is that we, in the first experiment, we initiated traffic from the server. So therefore, from the internal side of the, of the F5 to the external side of the F5. Now, this is a static NAT entry that is created on the F5 with, with this DNAT configuration, meaning that we can, we can also in, um, initiate connectivity from outside to the inside. So let's do that now. So we go on the Viata OS router and we are going to start a ping to 172.16.10.11. And this is not going to work at the moment because we've disabled the NAT object and we've also deleted the sessions uh, created previously. What this is going to do is sends a packet to 172.16.10.11 IP address because of my routing my, my routing is configured in a way that that packet in a, is going to hit the F5 and once the NAT object is enabled the F5 is going to translate this IP address the, this destination IP address to the destination uh, internal IP address of my host which is 10.0.0.11 do not make confusion here with the fact that when we created the DNAT object, the source IP address uh, was defined in the origin field, whereas here, when we are testing connectivity from outside to the inside network, uh, the, 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 that IP address is actually, that translation actually happens on the destination uh, IP address of the IP packet. So basically, the name of the field relates particularly to, to, the, to the outbound direction when we set up DNAT. OK, so now with that said, let's go back to my DNAT object and re-enable it. And we should now see traffic starting to flow from my Viata OS back to the F5 and then the F5 will therefore translate uh, connectivity back to the backend server.